All right, 20 minutes to go. I think I could probably fill 20 minutes this time. Wasn't sure about that long for anybody else, but it is, in fact, the Nintendo time. Um, minor update, if you didn't see any of the like news stuff, but I'm not going to even be bothering with Bandai Namco, because it turns out they're only showing off one game. So, um, I guess that's technically better setting people up for disappointment than Capcom did, because Capcom, they said, oh, these are things that we're showing off in our presentation, but they said the stuff they'd be showing off was including, and then they proceeded to list literally everything that was there. So they implied that there would be more stuff when there was actually absolutely nothing. So that's definitely worse than Namco just saying, yes, we have this one thing. It's still extremely disappointing, though. So, um... E3 officially ends when the Treehouse segment ends, because, uh, of course. Also, of course, you're not allowed to co-stream this, which doesn't really matter, I couldn't stream anyway. Uh, but, of course, it's it's the best symbiotic relationship possible. Nobody hates Nintendo more than Nintendo fans, and nobody hates Nintendo fans more than Nintendo. So, it, it only makes sense that they would announce, like, five minutes before most people are going live, that you can't actually live stream the thing directly. Maybe it's because there's copyrighted music. I don't know. I don't really care, because I'm pre-recording this, because I'm smart like that. Uh, but let's see. What things, TM, are going to happen? Things capitalized with the trademark. Because there are a lot of things that are probably going to happen. There was one leaked Sega game, which turn your ears off for like five seconds if you don't want to hear that. A new Monkey Ball game got leaked. I believe it's multi-platform, but if it hasn't been shown off yet, it's probably coming here or not at E3. Then Atlas also leaked some additional SMT5 info, which probably is going to show up here because, you know, that makes sense. Then there's going to be at least one Smash character because, of course, there's going to be at least one Smash character running out of time in 2021 for them to announce and have the stuff come out. So, you know, that makes sense. And then I'm not really sure. Is Zelda possible? Probably. They said mostly releasing in 2021, which is basically code talk for, yes, we're going to show off some 2022 things, but not all of them. So, like, The Stinger, very likely to be a 2022 game, or another Smash character, which we know is coming in 2021, or Zelda is just coming this year. We also know that it's exclusively on Switch software, so they're not going to waste our time with mobile games like Square did. And they're not going to show off the Switch Pro like no one else did. But that just made me think. There's a three-hour treehouse after this. Remember when Samus Returns and, like, a bunch of different amiibo were revealed in treehouse segments in previous E3s? What if they do that for the Switch Pro? That's, like, the most stupid Nintendo move that could possibly happen right now. So I would be very unsurprised if the Direct ends and then... It immediately cuts to three treehouse people sitting around a table, and wowee, look at that, that's a new looking Nintendo Switch device, introducing the new Nintendo Switch Pro, now available for pre-order, because that's definitely, that, that's exactly what they do. Like, yeah, they revealed the Switch Lite in just a tweet, so I wouldn't be surprised if they revealed the Switch Pro in just a tweet, but um, the Mario and Rabbids footage seems to be too good to be running on a regular Switch, so either that was PC, or... Switch Pro dev kits are at least in the hands of Ubisoft. And about Mario and Rabbids, I don't remember if... Because, like, this is what happened with Kingdom Battle, where it was first revealed at Ubisoft's conference, and then... Oh, was like, oh, this is a Switch-exclusive game. It's got Mario in it. Wow. Wahoo. That's exactly what Mario says. But I don't remember if they also did anything about it in the Nintendo thing afterwards. So... There's, it's very, I, if they did it last time, then yes, there's going to be probably the exact same trailer being played, because how many Nintendo fans care about third parties? Um, <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Oh, wait, hold on. Sakurai just tweeted something. He said, let's watch it. Quote, tweeting the direct. So, I mean, we knew Smash was happening. This is just saying, yes, Smash is happening. But from the Sakurai's mouth. Uh, anyway. Mario and Rabbids, probably happening. Zelda, possibly happening. 
The real question is, are they going to bother continuing to update Animal Crossing? Because we know that team is working on Splatoon 3 now. So they're not 100% dedicated to AC, even if they are dedicated to AC at all. So don't really know about that. Don't expect to see Splatoon. They might show off some like very early random story mode pre-alpha stuff in the treehouse if they do anything. Because they really like showing off Splatoon things in the treehouse segments. But... There's not, it's a 2022 game that's already been teased, so I kind of doubt there's going to be a lot of stuff there. So, uh, let's see what else. Um, Pokemon, Pokemon. There was not a specific Pokemon presentation earlier in the week like they always do at E3. So, even, because Legends has a 2022 release date, but there's definitely going to be a decently sized Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl segment. And there's probably going to be at least a little bit about Legends, possibly even just explaining a couple of the things they talked about when they revealed the release date, or just showing off the release date in a different context. Because the Center remakes have release dates too, so that's going to be at the end of the trailer. But I really wouldn't be surprised if, like, Fortnite and Pokemon combined are roughly 30% of the entire thing, and then also, like, 50% of the treehouse, just because that just seems seems like a thing that would happen. But let's see, we got 13, 13 minutes to go. I might have gone down my list of everything that's definitely going to happen. Um, let's see, Big Amogus was already in Xbox, so I don't think they're going to say anything about Big Amogus. But um, Kirby, Kirby would be cool. Um, literally anything from Monolith Soft would be cool. But like, again, Zelda and Animal Crossing and Splatoon. One of those is going to be there, at least. So, you know. But there's not going to be a Monolith logo, unless it's actually something they're working on. Which would basically be Xenoblade X remaster thing, X2, Xenoblade 3, or maybe, just maybe, that new IP they teased before 2 came out will actually have released. Like, I know, people are like, oh yeah, we haven't gotten a brand new Xenoblade game in four years, but we also have still gotten Torna and Definitive Edition, which, like, yeah, DE was basically nothing in terms of new content, but it's more than we got about the original IP. So that would be pretty neat, honestly. Uh, I'm ready to be disappointed, because I don't expect anything out of this E3 at all. So um, I'm fully expecting basically nothing interesting. Uh, We're going to get, like, a big Mario Golf segment, Triangle Strategy was not at Square Enix's conference, so I'm guessing there's not going to be any Triangle Strategy here, but I think that was only first revealed, like, this year, so there wouldn't really be a huge amount of time for people to, um, like, for them to implement all the feedback they got from the demo, so that's not too big a surprise. Um, Not expecting... Let's see, out of the people who had really disappointing solo presentations... I expect zero things from Square and zero things from Capcom. Um, like, that that's just how it is. If anything, if any interesting Capcom thing would actually be coming to Switch, because, like, okay, well, Ace Attorney, but that's a multi-plat. Um, then I would have said, oh, a Battle Network collection. But I think Capcom was like, yeah, COVID screwed up our Battle Network anniversary celebration, so if they wanted to have it here, it's not ready. But, what other third parties do we actually expect anything from? I mean, Ubisoft, yeah. Atlas, yeah. I don't expect Persona. I'm just saying that right away. We're not getting Persona anything unless, like, they actually reveal another Persona character in Smash for some reason, which I wouldn't want for the same reason I didn't really like Sephiroth, which is just the lack of variety. Like, there are 15 mainline Final Fantasy games and, like, 800 spinoffs and you put two characters from seven in, that's that's fairly stupid. Um, I don't really want another Persona character, I guess unless it was, like, from one or two. Um, anyway. I saw a really bad Xenoblade 3 leak, where it was basically just Xenosaga, again, and the Cosmos equivalent was named Madeline, instead of another name associated with Cosmos. Um... But that that's not happening. Saga Remaster? That would be that would be super neat. If we could get it's definitely not gonna happen. But if we get like Saga Remaster, X Definitive Edition, 
Zelda, and then just a, another thing at the end of the X Definitive Edition saying, and also the next Xenoblade game is currently being worked on by Monolith Soft. That would be enough. Because again, like, Devolver, okay. Limited Run, pretty good. Didn't react to either of those, and I missed like half of Devolver, but they had the tape joke. They made a free thousand dollars for selling a VHS, so honestly, good for them. I can respect that. Um, and then the Microsoft part of the Xbox Bethesda thing was pretty decent. The Bethesda part was garbage, but I didn't really expect anything more. Uh, but even then, the Microsoft, the, the whole thing was like 40% longer than it needed to be, so. I'm genuinely excited for this to only be roughly 40 minutes, because without Sony here, Nintendo's the only people who actually know how to properly pace something, so I'm, I'm not gonna lie, kinda excited. Are you ready to make for me to make my exact same haha wrong Takahashi joke when Shinya Takahashi shows up? Um, because I hope so. Oh, wait, hold on, everyone's posting Malos saying 10 minutes to go from Torna. Because there's less than 10 minutes to go now. I love, like, I love things like that that just completely transcend the language barrier. Because the first three times I saw it were from Japanese artists that I follow because they make neat art. And that's also something that obviously transcends the language barrier. But when, like, I could tell that everyone's excited for the exact same thing without words. Well, I mean, technically, I, I see the number 10 in the subtitles, but it's still, it it's still neat. Um... Let's see what the Xenoblade subreddit is talking about. Um, it's mostly people being like, ha 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 ha, nothing's happening. Because let's be real, nothing is going to happen. And I don't mean in the, the cool Rono Zero way. I mean the whole, we're actually not getting anything interesting way. Which I mean, if there's no Zelda, then it's going to be very stupid. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, right. I forgot to mention. Age of Calamity DLC. There's going to be a big Zelda segment. And air quotes if there's no Breath of the Wild. But they're going to be like, this is the Legend of Zelda 35th Anniversary Corner. We have a Wii game being resold for more money than it was new. And we also have DLC for a game that Luxon's not going to talk about much longer because he never finished it. I'm probably going to be spoiled by that. Um, but I don't really care because... I got to the point where this story completely jumped the shark already, so I'm playing it for the gameplay and the gameplay. And also maybe a little bit of the gameplay, but mostly the gameplay. Uh, cause story bad. Commit to your tragedy. Monolith Soft and Xenoblade 2 Torn of the Golden Country are right there. So, um, let's, let's look again and let's see what specific things are trending on Twitter. And I will rate them in terms of how likely things are to happen. Alright, the first thing I see is Switch Pro, Bayonetta 3, Mario Kart 9. Uh, none of those are happening. They already said the Switch Pro, no. Bayonetta 3 doesn't exist, and Platinum already showed off their mediocre-looking multiplayer live service action game at Square's mediocre, very bad conference, so we're not getting actual Bayonetta news. Um... Mario Kart 9 is theoretically possible, but I kind of doubt it. Then the next thing trending under gaming is Claire, which is just because of either League or Resident Evil in Dead by Daylight. I'm not actually sure, but neither of those are Nintendo, so I don't really care. Uh, Xenoblade is trending, which, okay, first first two tweets on the top for that are Chugga Conroy and then Anel, so, and then Anel again, and then me, okay, that's neat, um, and then sort, uh, oh, then Fire Emblem, trending with Master Chief and Fire Emblem, which is great, I don't think Master Chief's gonna be in Fire Emblem, I'm sorry to disappoint everybody, um, I mean, if they wanna do the Game Pass thing and be like, hey, look, we got the Master Chief collection on the Nintendo Switch, and we also got Master Chief and Smash, I mean, that would be cool, I would be down for Master Chief and Smash, I mean, it's me. I already got my Xeno character. So the only thing I want from the new Smash characters, which, by the way, the other two, the next two things trending are Sora and Waluigi, both of which are not happening. Um, I just want something that annoys people. Because that's funny. So, I mean, Master Chief wouldn't annoy people. It wouldn't annoy me, that's for sure. Um, so, I mean, like, 
do I really want Fortnite? Like, people unironically popped off for Minecraft. Which meant it wasn't as funny. Other than the part where it was the only thing to ever take Twitter servers down. Um, but I need some, I need some Angie pop-offs. So, give me Fortnite. And then something some people actually wanted. Um, oh wait, hold on. I got, got a comment saying, apparently my incoherently rambling about Xenoblade X2 video is being recommended to people today. It's part of the algorithm. We got this. It's gamer time in approximately four minutes and 30 seconds, or three minutes and 30 seconds. It's, it's even, it's even closer than I thought. All right. If there's two Smash characters, they're starting with Smash. If there's one Smash character, I'm going to say they're ending with Smash. Because they like to come out swinging, but they also like to end things with Smash characters. Unless it, like, is a Smash presentation where it's like, Hi, my name is Masahiro Sakurai. Did you know we're going to reveal a new Smash character? Because, well, uh, to be fair, they opened Game Awards with Sephiroth. So maybe they'll, maybe they'll open with a Smash character. Maybe, yeah, that's probably it. No Smash char no no end with Smash character unless there's two. Now I know Banjo Hero did that thing, but Banjo Hero was also let's cater to the West, let's cater to Japan with two different characters at the same time. So depending on who the character is, they might not want to bother they might not be able to do that because it's worldwide appeal or um so niche that no one outside of a specific area is going to care, or they know it's going to annoy people so much they're not even going to bother trying to placate whoever is going to be angry. <laughs> Which, again, that's the funnier outcome, so I hope that's what happens. Uh, Alright, Sakurai is trending, trending again, Sora is trending again, Nemesis is trending again. Alright, I have to assume that Nemesis and Claire are trending both because of Resident Evil, so that has nothing to do with this. Uh, ACNH is finally trending. This is where we'll determine whether or not they have just decided to shoot Animal Crossing and try to reclaim the same buzz they had from that with Splatoon. Because let's be real, very little stuff has been added to Animal Crossing and I haven't played it for probably eight months. Um, Alright, Metroid Prime 4. Let's see. It wasn't at... But they gave it... Well, no, they took it off of Bandai Namco and gave it to Retro. I was going to say... Bandai also didn't go yet, so that wouldn't make sense. All right, how much time we got left? It's 58. 58, 38. Okay. What if they just open with Cosmos? That would be really funny. Uh, I, saw, I also saw one person claiming to have seen the character already and was like, prepare to be disappointed. Which, okay. If it's Cosmos... Very stupid people will be disappointed. I am not stupid, so I will not be disappointed. Um, Alright, let's see. Let's see. Got a minute to go. Can we get the big monolith news? They just need... Like, a good Zelda trailer is enough to put them on top of everyone except Microsoft. And a good Zelda trailer and the monolith soft logo is enough to just put them on top in general. So... You don't really need to do a whole lot, but I'm also not really expecting that much either. Um, shout out to Splatoon community team. Okay, that must be people who are watching from E3. I'm watching from Nintendo themselves. No, don't give me a commercial and DoorDash. That's not correct. I'm talking over this because I'm probably going to... All right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to gonna mute headphone audio here for a second. Um, and hope this ad finishes before the direct starts. Because refreshing the page was one of the stupidest ideas I've ever had in my life. Ten seconds, DoorDash. You better you better end it quickly. Oh, no. I'm going to miss the beginning of it. I'm going to miss the beginning. I'm going to miss the very beginning. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no. No, no. Zero. All right, good. Nintendo didn't start on time. Like they always don't. Um, You got to be kidding me. You got to be No, loading? All right. All right, come on. I'm, I'm officially at poking... Poking the stream with a stick. Come on, do something, Territory. It is officially 27... They are 28 seconds late. Let's go. Oh. M! Are we going to see the M-rated monolith game? Alright, got the COVID PSA. That's fine. That's fine. Just give us video games. 
That is all I ask. Oh, wait, did I unmute? I did not unmute this, did I? No, I did. Okay, I'm good. All right, they're opening with the Nintendo Direct logo. They didn't open with Smash. What? Haha, ha, wrong Takahashi. Hello, I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll All be right. your guide as well. These guys the Nintendo have stuff. Is now in its fifth year. It's down its fifth year. Many so we need to make a new one. Are playing games on it. Please make a new one. Switch is being enjoyed by a wide range of players spanning all ages and all levels of gaming experience. They really hit us with a Nintendo Switch doesn't just have games, it has gamers. We've been able to offer a wide variety of games on the system. Not just from Nintendo, but also from our many development and publishing partners. So are we getting are we getting second and third parties? Each of you watching this Nintendo Direct will be able to find a game that suits your personal tastes. I mean Xenoblade suits my personal taste. News on upcoming Nintendo upcoming games. games. And we'll be focusing on a selection of games releasing this year. On a selection of games releasing this year. you enjoy it. Okay, to begin, please take a look at this video. Alright, they said video, not game. So it's likely... Or no. Hold on. Zeld? Zeld? I see Zeld. Oh wait, no, this is a Smash trip. Oh. Oh, we're going Heihachi. Going Tekken. That's neat. No, it's not Heihachi. Kazuya. Okay. That's one of the most nonchalant Smash reveals. Neat. There's our Bamco rep, I guess. And that's why. Every, I guess because everyone was expecting Heihachi. Is that I'm okay. This is not the second character I was expecting. Neat! Slightly mad this isn't going to annoy a lot of people, though. But oh well. <laughs> Did he kill Falcon, too? Oh god, everybody's dead! I think Jin has a higher body count than Galim and Darkon combined. Okay, Hihachi's in the stage, that makes sense. But, uh... That was really rude, starting with dead Ganondorf, and then making it Smash and not Zelda. That's... that's really good. That's actually really good, though. Also, is that the Tekken announcer? That was... <laughs> that was pretty good. I have to give him that. It's pretty good. Okay, Kirby can fly. That's not gonna work. He's also conscious. Like, Pit was unconscious. So he couldn't fly back up. But Kirby's conscious, so he's, he's gonna be good. Yep, there we go. So anyway, Hello, hi Sakurai. From Sora Limited, and the of the oh Super man, Smash Brothers Ultimate that's a cool reveal. Just about a series I don't care a whole lot about. Tekken will join the battle. Surprise! But it is actually cool, so people aren't going to be annoyed. So please sit tight. For today, though, we've prepared a short video to showcase Kazuya's moves in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Please take a look. I mean, I don't really know how Tekken works, but this looks like a Tekken. Also, if you hear loud noises, people are also working on my roof today. Um, I guess they finally got all the material. Start doing that. But, uh, this is pretty cool. I don't know if we need this much to, for Smash. Because if, if we've got five minutes of just Smash, that's a bad sign. Because that means that they don't have a lot of other stuff to talk about. But it also means they opened with Smash, so they might have other interesting things later. But, uh... Neat. This feels like Tekken. No, <laughs> Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Playing Jin in Smash really makes you feel like Spider-Man. We still have to record it first, actually. <laughs> Good job, Sakurai. 
the All right. is shown below. Please you got, got the smash. Got the smash out of the way. We're probably going to see our Cosmos costume later. Um, Mr. Sakurai. Anyway. New fighter Kazuya will join the fight in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I will I will accept I will accept Please new video games now. Seeing how Kazuya, who has experienced many harsh battles across the Tekken series, will fight in this game. All right. Let's continue. I like the suit alt though. First batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. All right. All right, we're into the headlines. So this is probably not going to be anything super big. Your choices matter in these emotional supernatural tales. Are these ports or are these new things? Because that makes me think of The Witness, but I don't think it's The Witness. That is not The Witness. That is Train. Train? Can we get Train in Smash? I have no idea what this is. Wait. Oh. That's not what I was expecting. Why? Why is this going coming to Switch? I'm confused in a good way. Oh, they're actually the actual games. I thought this was going to be a, oh, spin-off thing with all the protagonists, but they're actually putting this stuff on Switch. That's interesting. When is Game, game Pass when? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, like, gameplay footage is not final. But that looks a little too good for PBA Switch, Life regardless. Strange, true colors I'm surprised. On Switch, uh, hold on. And Life is Strange Remastered Collection comes okay, Japan Switch just later this year. Japanese Nintendo just announced that they're that There's they're getting Kakarot on the Nintendo Switch system. Something for everyone. You are, are you kidding me? Leading a Why? <laughs> heroes for hire in this thrilling action adventure game. Jump on a wild ride across the cosmos. We don't want more of this. Star-Lord's daring combat style and encounter iconic and original Marvel characters. You'll call the shots for the unpredictable guardians as you All right. cosmic threats to save the galaxy. Be they better not you got this. also transition into more Ultimate Alliance. Guardians of the Galaxy blasts onto Nintendo Switch October 26th. All right, thank you. Worms everywhere. Isn't this out already? Arena -based shooter. You'll thank you, thank you. That was like less than 30 seconds of Marvel. Play in daily challenges, battle modes, There's still like half an hour left of direct. That can be not Marvel. Plus, the patchwork bear outfit exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version will be available for free for two weeks after launch. A new map, Spaceport Showdown, launches with Worms Rumble, wriggling onto Nintendo Switch June 23rd. Get a 25% discount when you pre-order the game starting today on Nintendo eShop. Okay, what's this? Realm of this looks... As you kind of neat. Fully hand -painted world. Oh, You'll never mind. It's the Metroidvania action RPG. I thought it was going to be... Combat. Oh no, it is turn-based combat. I was going to say. I thought that was a Metroidvania for a second. Anyway. It's neat looking. I like Large Scythe Woman. That's neat. Oh, neat! The third time we've seen Two Point Campus this E3. I'm definitely not tired. You'll build and run your very own Come on, all right. The way you want it. Was Smash the only Not thing that hadn't been seen already at some point? Because Worms was already out, and everything else is multiplat. Enrollment for Two Point Campus starts on Nintendo Switch next year. I do want to know who made like that little animated intro for Life is Strange, though. Banana. Rolls into Banana. Anniversary this year. All right, this is the thing that was leaked. So. Cool. We already know everything that's been leaked. Uh, well, I guess unless there's a Mario Rabbids trailer. Oh, are they doing a are they doing a retrospective? Oh yeah, because I guess most of these were Nintendo exclusives. Because I think the original series was all on GameCube. No, but I don't remember. I don't remember what the old Monkey Ball games were on. I know the most recent one. was not a Switch exclusive, I think. But, you know what? Good job, Monkey Ball fans. Oh, wait, I thought this was a new game, not a remaster. That's unfortunate. I guess you can't improve perfection. 
go bananas when super monkey ball Neat. banana man I like I like this Nintendo super Switch snappy 30 second spot even for the things that were leaked It's a blast from party Mario party but good Excuse me Ready for another round of Mario Party Mayhem? Of course you are. It's a superstar collection of Mario Party boards and mini games. Neat. Live it up on Finally. classic boards from the Nintendo 64, oh. era, including Peach's birthday cake and Space Land. St Five boards though this isn't Each a lot. Each board is packed with zany events guaranteed to keep you on your toes. And when we say zany, we mean it. I can't believe they remade Mario Party before they remade Xenoblade Chronicles X. Next blocks. And give facelifts? Oh, that's a good, a good facelift. Mini games, all of which support button controls. With 100 mini games from the Mario. Oh, party Rosalina in Classic Mario Party is so powerful. Star Fun Fest. Here's a little party favor. All game modes work with online play. Thank you for not being very stupid like you were with Super Mario Party. Randomly match with other party goers worldwide. Playing a. Oh wait, is this just an update for Super, or is? Save your progress mid-game. Grab a snack. Then resume the festivities. Stickers are also available to communicate with others. It's time to party! Oh no, this is a new game. Neat. Party Superstars, launching on the Nintendo Switch system October 29th. Uh, Nintendo Japan just tweeted about this. Pre-orders begin today. Okay, that's our first confirmed E3 thing. What did you think? That's cool. Before we show this next trailer, I'd like to say one thing. Currently, we're working hard on the latest game in the Metroid Prime series. Oh no. Metroid Prime 4. Oh, is this we previously announced. 2D Metroid to tide us over? Today, we'd like to introduce another new entry in the Metroid franchise. Okay. 2D Metroid is real. 2D Metroid is real. At least that This could be Federation Force 2. Oh no. Is this a fusion remake? Oh no. It they actually did something cool! <laughs> but, if nope, if they were like, yeah, no Prime 4. It, Metroid with androids? Excuse me? Uh... So are they gonna is this gonna be gameplay at all? Or are they just going to do a nothing teaser for a Metroid game again? Okay, no. There we go. So we're actually How many years has it been since Fusion? Is this just gonna be called Metroid 5? Oh no. Metroid Dread is actually a real one! <laughs> okay. How long ago was that leaked or whatever? Alright, I think... I think Nintendo is already on top of everyone now. Anything else is just icing. And they haven't gotten to Zelda yet! So, Darkstalkers may be dead, but Samus is not dead. I I don't know what these robots are about, though, because Samus has blown it up a lot of robots in the past. I don't know, I don't know why we have Samus fighting Hal. We're gonna, gonna get a release date? Gonna get a release date? Gonna get a release date? Wow, that's like... Four months. Good job. Good job not having this get leaked. New 2D Metroid game in roughly 19 years. The brand new Metroid Dread game. Wow. I don't the name really Dread know implies. what to say. This is a Metroid game with a new feel showcasing a variety of threats that Samus I need to at least play Super on Switch Online. It's scheduled to be released on October 8th. That is so it won't be too long until long genuinely long. impressive. On that same day, we'll also be releasing a I like the new Samus suit, Samus but I'm not sure if that's just the Emmy, the robot scene in the video. Let's move on to more Nintendo oh, man. Switch headlines. They're like, wow, we've actually got stuff. Cool. These Familiar franchises return. Like Xenoblade. <laughs> Please. Get okay. Get down in the latest just um 
All right. Well, I mean, I'm going to get copyright claimed. Thank you. Thank you, Ubisoft. I really don't care. Yo, wait. Metroid Special Edition with art book? Thank you, Japanese Nintendo Twitter, for showing off a bunch more stuff than the actual direct is. I, okay, apparently the robot thing chasing Samus is E-M-M-I. Uh, car? I've never heard of this. How is that a familiar franchise? Blast your way through nearly 30 over-the-top tracks. Up to four players can race together. Well, I mean, so pick your favorite vehicle I guess they I guess they gotta have sizzle reels in between all the really good stuff. But wow, Nintendo Switch this fall. Can't believe they actually made Metroid. <laughs> Goku? Dragon Ball Z experience. All right, this is just Kakarot because I already saw about the, the Kakarot thing. But um, that's neat. <laughs> we don't we don't get. Bamco Games and Bamco presentation, but um, we got them here. Actually, does this include the DLC? Because I think there's some super DLC in this. Hey, why not help out the locals? While collect ingredients for delicious meals. You could always train to acquire new skills, too. There are lots of things to keep you busy. The boss battle episodes, a new power okay, yeah. awakens. Okay, God, Vegeta, and, and Freeze. Oh. Oh, they only did through Resurrection Ball F. That's Z lame. Kakarot, plus, a new power awakens set punches its way onto Nintendo Switch September well, 24. That's a thing. Thank you, Goku. Grab a golf club All right. And get ready to we already got, like, eight minutes of Mario. So... The Mario Golf this better not be super long. Soon. Here's a quick glimpse into each of the modes. Standard golf. Okay, this is a quick glimpse. So it's wind probably wind gonna be like two or three minutes, green. which is fine. Nice Get different types of I like I like the sand marks. Uh, they're they're actually including nice. neat things from other Mario Speed games. Golf. I'm I'm glad that Mario Sports that have become after. not garbage again. Like, I'm genuinely happy for that, even though I've probably played zero of them. Alright. Battle golf. Ba <laughs> Is this parkour golf? In an obstacle -filled arena. I mean, I guess it's a Mario game, so it makes sense, but still. Golf adventure. Go from rookie to pro with your me character. The the, they're actually bringing back the RPG mode where you have a create a character in Mario Golf. And also, Donk? I see Donk. We are not even halfway through yet. I'm like, impressed. I'm genuinely impressed. Although we haven't gotten to the Pokemon dump yet. That's probably going to be a big chunk. Oh my god, we don't need more Monster Hunter! <laughs> And vibrant world of Monster Hunter. Thanks, Nintendo. Definitely needed another Monster Hunter Stories 2 trailer. After... As a rider in this RPG adventure, Although, this is at least a different trailer than the nothing from Capcom. So I'm less mad. Gather materials such as honey and ore, but still, them to craft only halfway done. Journey. I'm going to be taking a drink now because I have nothing else to say about Monster Hunter Stories. But beware of the many monsters roaming about. Some are docile, but others may suddenly ambush you. To fight, you'll team up also, wait, when does golf come out? Use weapons the 20... Oh, God. Enemy monsters and I forgot how soon golf was. Win, and you'll be rewarded with That's neat. Materials. It's next Friday, I guess. Which can be forged into new weapons also, and armor. I, I still don't know why everyone is an elf in this hey, game. I thought the people in Monster Hunter were human. Able to hatch a new monster. Incredibly, I also really hate how also the partner monsters eggs. are called monsties. Need more traveling buddies? Join up with friends for co-op multiplayer quests and battles. Buckle up, Ryder. It's going to be a real monster but, of an uh, adventure. But, uh, interesting how there's no Tekken monster actually on Switch. Two, Wings of Ruin soars onto Nintendo there, there must have been something Tekken on some on Nintendo thing in the past, but I'm just saying. I don't think I don't think that breaks the have to have been on a Nintendo platform at one point. Wario? Certain okay. <laughs> Why WarioWare should not look this good. What do you mean? Who am I? It's Wario. It's -a me, 
Wario. <laughs> it's a finally ready, a brand new Why is Wario the only one allowed to speak in complete sentences? You get to control me. Time to do this. <laughs> Look at me go. Quack rats. Check out these chumps. They came back and they have one. That's a lot of supporting characters. Throw that stick thing. This is like genuinely good. I didn't think it was possible. Nailed it. Not that the WarioWare game would be good. WarioWare games would be good. The Direct is actually good. I almost forgot some big news. Wow. Two people can play together. Oh, that's different. This is a better tech demo for the concept of Joy-Cons than 1-2 Switch. That's for sure. Nice JoJo face. Yes, you, the one watching this. Better get ready for some micro game mayhem. The WarioWare Get It Together game launches exclusively on the Nintendo Switch system September 10th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. What you just saw was the trailer for WarioWare. Get I like I like that. In the latest installment of this series, there are new micro games that let you control Wario and his friends. There is also a anyway. player co-op mode, which greatly expands the gameplay. <laughs> it's releasing in the near future, so can't stay believe tuned. Nintendo just locked all of E3 within half the presentation. I heard the snap. SMT. All right. As a high school student, time for people to complain about JRPGs. Finally. Fairly normal. But that reality is upended after you get pulled into a different dimension. Okay. Oh, is SMT five an isekai? Is that what we're doing this with this? Another Tokyo exists. It is literally an isekai. Okay. That's not what I was expecting. Suddenly, you fuse with a mysterious figure. Okay. Gaining the power to fight demons. So you become is this this is ahead in this alternate realm? More nocturne esque than four esque, I guess. Are we gonna see gameplay though? Gameplay? Finally! Hello? Nice, nice hair though. Like, we just saw a Dragon Ball trailer. And that's better anime hair than that. I'm impressed. And will attempt to destroy you. Harness your newfound powers to fight demons using a command-based system. Finding their weak point is key. By targeting it, the number of consecutive actions you can perform in a Alright, so they're like, increase. explain- To be fair! This is a good time to explain press turn. You should probably explain press turn for all the people who are just begging for Persona. Them via negotiations, which begin when you open a conversation with them. If a negotiation is successful, a demon will become a powerful right. ally. Like, I know they tend to over-explain JRPGs sometimes, some but... Cases, it's SMT. You need to explain SMT. And join you as an ally. UI looks really clean. And the UI looks based off of the Tokyo Mirage session sessions UI. By fusing demon allies, another demon can be created. The newly fused demon's innate abilities will vary, granting you a powerful ally. Customized to your needs also, and play style. wait. Oh, is that like more customization than usual? I wasn't. I was slightly not paying attention. Um. Anyway. Challenge the many demons roaming this post-apocalyptic world. Oh no. World. Wait. Is France gone in road. SMT and Splatoon? What destiny will you? Because that's impressive. Shin Megami Tensei Five will launch exclusively on Nintendo Switch November twelfth. Pre-orders for the physical version begin June 21st. That was the latest trailer for Shin Megami All right. Tensei 5. That was one JRPG. Now it's time for another JRPG. The newest game in the series. 
Please look forward to future updates. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. All right, some more some more video games. This is headlines. These are usually smaller things. Celebrate 10 years of Don was, Rampa in despair. Was this ever on Nintendo before? I don't think so. Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check, one, two. This is a test of the school is, I'm assuming this is a trilogy port. Three games in the deadly Donkin Rampa okay. are coming to Nintendo Switch. Okay, I don't know why I'm surprised. I shouldn't be. Monokuma, but it's just really funny. Headmaster has trapped you and other high school students in a game of literal I'm just going to just going to tweet the words fingers in and hope someone completes that. <laughs> Cuz that's about all I know about Donkin Rampa. And so it begins. All right, this is meets their demise. A class trial will take place to reveal the culprit. You're the culprit, aren't you? This is this is definitely something. <laughs> they probably moved the body there. <laughs> this is definitely something. This is like good chaos. I wouldn't call it chaotic good. It's like chaotic evil but in a good way. Are you okay? <laughs> hey, you finally woken up. Or what? Wait, what? From Duncan Rampa, V3 Killing Harmony has been expanded into a Why game. Why is there Duncan Rampa a S Mario Party Super RPG? An all-star cast of characters from the. Oh wait, no, this is just 100% orange juice. Why is that here? And why is it also Duncan Rampa? <laughs> I'm very confused, and probably not getting this game. But I'm glad it exists because it was funny. <laughs> All four games will also be individually available on Nintendo Oh my Nintendo god. Shop. <laughs> Fatal Frame? We is this just four again, or is this a new one? Okay. I was gonna say. A new Fatal Frame isn't a headline. In this horror adventure game, you'll uncover the mysteries surrounding the ethereal but deadly Mount Hikami. Believed to be at the center of many disappearances. Ghosts All right. frequent this mountain. This is another Wii U port. Defense is a camera that can repel and cast them out. Face your fears as you explore a variety of unsettling locations. This spine chilling. I'm assuming, like, to be fair, this is one of the Wii U ports that made heavy gamepad use that you can just straight up emulate with motion controls. Can you investigate Mount Hikami? But, like, this was good. Especially because it didn't even get a physical release in the US. This definitely deserved a second lease, even if it wasn't, like, the best game in the genre or anything. Anyway, games and DLC coming soon. So, oh no, are they shadow dropping things? Are they shadow dropping Doom stuff? Or this is probably a multiplayer thing, but, you know. Deeper and more challenging combat awaits. All right, 12 minutes left. As you eliminate Hell's newest threats in demon-infested ruins and rain-swept terrain. The fate of the cosmos is in your hands. Get slaying when this campaign expansion My God, they're just... They're just... Later today. Like, running circles around literally everybody else. Is this Tony Hawk? Get ramped up nice. I thought that was out already. But still nice. Gate to era defining jams as the legendary Tony Hawk and a roster of new and returning pros. That's take your sessions on the go. With it's, all the it is, in fact, Sir Tony of Hawksville. And compete locally or online to show off your tricks I against mean, other skaters. This is just a headline segment. Tony Hawk's pro I'm not particularly hyped about this. On Nintendo Switch June 25th. Pre -orders are but I'm very hyped for whatever Nintendo comes after it. What is that? That's Smite? After no, that's years, Egypt. Seteki, the Witch Queen has risen from the All right, I have no idea what this game is. <laughs> Let's be real, I don't care. But in this thrilling adventure, you'll blast through an uh, army of mummified It's gun, but in Egypt. In oh, it's just Egyptian so Uncharted. Alone, okay. Team up with other oh no, it's Egyptian Uncharted, but multiplayer. Play. Interesting. Still don't care. Unexpected. But strange brigade whatever. On Nintendo Switch later Just today. port uncharted. Why was this the thing they shadow dropped? It's a new adventure. Oh wow! They're just putting this in a headline. This isn't even a main thing. Neat. Mario and his friends will team up with the rabbits once again to restore order to the galaxy. 
Our All right. Must stop a we have new evil from 10 minutes mysterious. for Xenoblade and Zelda. Like, Metroid was amazing. Smash was cool. Rabbit Rosalina Mario Party is neat. Wait, is she bored already? But still, with they're running out of time to, like, actually drop the hammer. And in this fresh take on the tactical genre, our is it really? really like, I know the first game is good, and I'm excited for this one. But is it really a fresh take so if this is the second game in the series? From your That's my question. Who's that? Actually, who is that? Well, one thing, and why is Rabbit Mario in love with that? Mario plus rabbits I don't know why hope, there's Goth Rabbit. I don't know. New thing? Fair. This is definitely a new thing. This is smashing it. Oh no. What is this? I... I still don't know. Oh! What? What? <laughs> Nintendo remembering Advance Wars exists? What? How are they doing this? <laughs> I guess we're not seeing Fire Emblem, but like, who cares? They remembered Advance Wars exists. That's like, you're actually scaring me at this point, Nintendo. Stop giving people what they want. This isn't like you. It's two of them. Oh boy. Marching on to Nintendo Switch this holiday. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. How is everything? All right. This uh -oh. next segment will be our last announcement oh. of the day. Oh, oh. no Xenoblade then. Take a look. It's got to be Zelda. Oh. Oh no, the Zelda segment is the last segment. It, this better not just be 8 minutes of Hyrule Warriors. I'll be very mad if this is just 8 minutes of Warriors and not actual Zelda. That's an... Link with Nunchucks is new. Well, okay. Um, oh, right, that, you know, now that I think about it, that was actually the first trailer for the actual DLC. I think they, it was literally just a, just a, Hello there. hey, we're making this thing. Onuma, anyway, Zelda's happening. Series. What you've just seen is a trailer for the first wave of DLC for the Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity expansion I, I somehow missed Zelda on a bike. That's great. That might actually get me to play the game again. It will follow Link and his allies through more battles that took place 100 years prior to the events of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I hope you'll look forward to it. I have a few more things to share okay. with you all today. This is just this is just a mini Zelda direct now. We'll begin with the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD game, okay. which launches Skyward Sword, month. good game, overpriced. Get it out of the way now. You'll immerse yourself in the role of Link by using two Joy-Con controllers for intuitive motion controls, or by playing in handheld mode, wielding the sword via flicking the stick and button only controls. This game depicts the oldest era in the Legend of Zelda series, the story of how Come it all on. began. Come on. If if you're gonna what explain Skyward Sword again, Master Sword. at least Why show off new content. Why Zelda become the legend for future generations? These will all be unraveled in this game. We okay. Hope you're looking forward okay. To the Legend That's of Zelda, it. That's Skyward it. Sword okay. HD. Six minutes left. Give us give us video games. Give us Next up. video game, actually. Oh, they're just they're just dragging this out as much as possible. This is a Game and Watch system. That lets <laughs> okay. You play three games in the Legend of Zelda series. This year, the original Legend of Zelda game reaches its 35th anniversary. While we don't have any campaigns or other Nintendo Switch games planned, 
We've been working on Wait. this Game & Watch system as a special... <laughs> or other Switch games planned. Occasion. Does that mean they just cancelled Breath of the Wild too? Because that would be not good. It will come with the first game in the series, The Legend of Zelda. Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Although, and the Game Boy that's version of the Legend of Zelda better than the Mario the one. Game. That's way better than the Mario as well one, at least. As a special version of the Game & Watch title, Vermin, starring Link as the playable character. So that's four games on one system, from longer Legend of Zelda games to the pick-up-and-play game Vermin. Anyway, we got... In got addition, four minutes left. Regarding the watch functionality for the Game & Watch... We don't need three minutes about Game & Watch. We want an actual game. <laughs> And an interactive timer themed after Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. You can play with both of them by taking control of Link. We hope you'll enjoy playing this game and watch system. Three minutes left. You'd like. Just show the new thing, please. Alright, here's the last thing we have to show okay. you. Okay. This is the sequel to The Legend of Zelda. Please, the Wild. please just give us a name. Two years have passed since we first announced this game. Please just give us a name so we to share anything with you in that time. Don't have to call it the sequel to Breath of the Wild. It has been steadily progressing. For today, we've prepared some new footage to show a bit more of the game. Please take a look. Can we, can we please, can we please get a, get a title? That is, alright. Link gets corrupted. This is stuff that we sort of expected already. Zombie Ganon. Oh no. Zelda got Fiorid. That's not good. <laughs> okay. Legend of Zelda. Zelda Heavensward? I don't know. Oh, Link just has a bionic arm. He is officially Finn the Human. This is new. I mean, that's old, but. So I guess this is how they're gonna... Oh, the slate is his arm now. That's interesting. I saw a new enemy. Is that a time reversal? What was that? I'm I'm very concerned now. <laughs> but, uh... Do we have the dwarf? We have Hyrule Castle going back into the sky, so we're get, gonna get Hylia content eventually. Title? Title. Title. No, that's where you give us a title. That's where you give us a title. Don't do this. So, what did you think? This time around, the setting for the adventure has been expanded to include the skies above Hyrule. We'd like to ask you to wait a bit longer. We're aiming for a 2022 release, so I hope you'll look forward to it. So we're actually not getting a title. We still have to call it Breath of the Wild 2. Are you kidding me? We are diligently continuing development on a number of other games for the show today. I hope you'll continue looking forward to Are they going to one more thing us? On Nintendo Switch. Thank you for watching. Man. Okay. Well, that was really good until they didn't give us a title. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, somehow, without Zeno anything, that was still the best Hi, one. everyone. I'm Doug um, Bowser from Nintendo of America. I'm going to stop and recording with Nate Bildor, and just... Who leads our treehouse team. Oh, no, those are, those are vanilla switches. Okay, my Switch Pro conspiracy theory isn't true. ...creating experiences that deliver surprises and smiles. And I have to say, I found myself smiling for the uh, entire presentation thinking about how many unique games we'll be yeah. able to share with everyone in the Ryu Wii is officially the Xenoblade X machine. Nate, that last clip was incredible. So many questions. Where um, do you start? What did you think? Oh, well, Doug, they had me at the first mysterious red... I'd say... You know what a massive Zelda fan I am. They win E3 two and a half times, and it's only not three, because they didn't give us a title still. Um... Just over the next couple months for Nintendo. But I'm going to just watch the Treehouse and play some Final Fantasy XIV now. Uh, goodbye.